All right, so what we're going to talk about here, the last thing we're going to talk about with price level stability is we're going to talk about what's called the real price of a product. Okay? Now, the word real has a technical meaning within economics. So it's important that you understand that I'm just not making up this word real. I'm not saying, hey, this is real. And you might say, hey, nothing's really real. No, I'm saying that the word real has a technical meaning within economics. And it has to do with inflation. And that's why I'm introducing this here. The real price of a product is a price that is converted from a nominal price, I'll define nominal in just a minute, into the deflated price of a prior year. So deflated is like the opposite of inflation. Inflation means that the price is inflated. It's like inflating a balloon. It's getting larger, right? Well, we're going to take the air out of the balloon and we're going to deflate the price into the price of a prior year. Okay? But in order to do that, or in order for you to understand this, we first need to define what nominal price means. Okay, well, what is a nominal price? A nominal price is, this is my definition, it's not a technical definition, but this is my definition. It's the menu or price tag price today. The menu or price tag price today, happening right now. What you would see today on the menu at a restaurant or, uh, or on a price tag at the store. So if you go into Panera and you want to buy a bowl of soup, and it says that a bowl of soup is $5.39. That price you're seeing right there today up on the menu, that is called the nominal price. Now it could be that five years ago, the nominal price was $5.09. And now five years later, it's the, the nominal price has gone up by 30 cents. And so as we look back through time, over the past 50 or 100 years, we can see that the price tag prices have gone up over time. The menu prices have gone up over time. The nominal price is the price that you see when you're driving down the road and you see a gas station and they got the sign out there and it says that a gallon of gas is $2.44 a gallon or $2.43 and 9 tenths of a cent, right? So that $2.44 per gallon that you're seeing on the sign, that is the nominal price because it's the price that you're seeing on the menu today. So a real price is where you take the nominal price today and you deflate it. You reduce the nominal price to a lower price, whatever, the, a lower price of what that product would have been in a prior year. And the way that you do that is by using the inflation rate, or you, you really what you're using is the CPI. Okay? And so here's your formula for deflating or identifying the real price. Okay? So the real price of a product is equal to now, this is kind of a crazy formula. It's a fraction, and you're going to put the nominal price, today's price, in the numerator. And then in the denominator, you're going to do the number 1 plus. And then in parentheses here, we're going to put a, basically it looks like the inflation rate formula, but it's a little different, okay? It's the, the, CPI of the later year, so CPI later, minus the CPI, let's get rid of this, of the prior year, whichever prior year you're concerned with, of the prior year, divided by the CPI of the prior year. 
And so again, we have new minus old divided by old. So new CPI minus old CPI divided by old CPI. That's going to give you a decimal value. Then you're going to, you're going to add that decimal value to 1. So you're going to have 1 point something in the denominator. And then in the numerator is going to be the nominal price. So what I want to do right now is I want to calculate the real price of a gallon of gas. Okay, so let's say that in 2018, a gallon of gas is or was $2.44 per gallon. Okay? And then we want to know the real price of that $2.44 in terms of 1995 dollars. So we're going to go all the way back in time to 1995 and we want to find out well what was what was two dollars and forty four cents in money value okay or it, it, in you know what costs two dollars and forty four cents today what uh, would you have had to pay for the same item in 1995? That's what we want to try and identify. And that's identifying the real price. So what we need is we need the CPI from 2018 and the CPI from 1995. So in 2018, the CPI is 251.107. And the CPI from 1995 is 152.4. And so what we're going to do here is to get the real price is we're going to do the nominal price in the numerator, which is $2.44, divided by 1 plus, and then we want the new CPI, which is 251.107, minus the old CPI, which is 152.4, divided by the old CPI, 152. Point four. So I'll get my calculator here and I'm going to do the numerator first. 251.107 minus 152.4. So that gives me 98.707 in the numerator. And I'm going to divide that by 152.4. And I get this number becomes, so I'm going to put an equals here. We're going to have $2.44 divided by 1 plus 0 0.6477, 0 0.6477. This was a 6 that rounded up to a 7 because there was an 8 after it, okay? And now 1 plus 0 0.6477, well, that's just 1.6477. So really, all we have to do is do 2.44 uh, 2 divided by 1.647. So 2.44 divided by 1.6. 77, 6477, and what I get is 1.48. So this is 1.48. And what that means is this, is that $2.44 in 2018 is the same thing as $1.48 in 1995. And so, Anything in 1995 that costs $1.48, 23 years later in 2018, probably now then costs $2.44. Okay? Now here's the roots, and that's how you calculate real price. So the real price of a gallon of gas from 2018 in, in terms of, in terms of, of or in the value of $1995 in, in the, the value of units of dollars from 1995 was $1.48. So what you used to be able to buy for $1.48 is now going to cost you $2.44. And as you can see, the value of the money is going down because it takes more dollars to buy the same thing and the, and the price has gone up because the price tag, the nominal price tag, is larger, okay? Now, here's the really interesting thing, and I'm just going to say this as an aside. That's what I'm going to wrap up with, is if you look up the actual 
price of a gallon of gas in 1995, what you're going to see is that the average price of a gallon of gas in 1995 was not $1.48. It was actually about $1.15. And so now the question is, if a gallon of gas was really $1.15 in 95, then why is the real price actually going back to actually a dollar uh, fifteen? Or sorry, a dollar forty-eight. Why is the real price being calculated at a dollar forty-eight? What is accounting for this thirty-three, this thirty-three cent difference in what the actual price of a gallon of gas was and what we calculated as the real price from nineteen ninety-five? Well, that thirty-three cents is accounted. For, by for something other than inflation. It's probably accounted for by changes in the costs of production, the availability of materials, the demand for gasoline. And in this 23 years, probably what has happened is, is demand for ga gasoline has either gone up or down, and the cost of producing gasoline by oil refineries has probably increased. And so now it costs more per gallon of gas to produce, so they have to actually charge more per gallon of gas. That 33 cents is not inflation. That 33 cents is accounting for changes in costs of production and changes in demand in the market. That's all I have for price level stability. I hope you understand this stuff. If you have to watch through the videos a couple more times, do so. But this is a very important concept in macroeconomics.